preach to them before they know that ah they must develop their community they must do this they must do that but they don't go to church as such but nigeria we go to church we shout the the muslim go to the mosque they do this and yet evil is in vogue arise to righteousness nigeria we must wake up we must tell ourselves we've got to change so that our generation coming they will miss something better than what we have now if our generation that will be coming if what i am seeing is what we are going to bequeath to them as their heritage then we should all all of us more than 50 years old we should be weeping if what i can see in nigeria i'm well more than 50 years old and I'm calling all those who are 50 years and above. If what I'm seeing is the inheritance, is the heritage we shall give to others, others 18, 19, 20, 30 years old. If this is what we are going to bequeath to them as their inheritance, we have failed them. Brothers and sisters, pastors and bishop, archbishop, I'm telling us, let us rise up. Every time I think about this nation, I look at, we pray so much. We all VG, we do program, we do this. And yet, if evil is on the increase, go to some developed world. They, they are not religious. They don't fast, they don't pray, they, but they do right things. Many times, many pastors have been caught doing evil, sleeping with the church member. Billy sleeping with somebody's wife, sleeping with the chorister. Come on, wake up! God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man swear, that shall also reap. We must wake up and tell ourselves what will I deliver unto the generation coming after me? What will I hand over to them? Is this the Nigeria we are going to hand over to them? No. If this is in Nigeria, then all 50 years and above, we should be crying. All pastors, whatsoever your age, because you are not saying, if you are not saying the truth, if you are not correcting, the church is for correction of the society. The church is to throw life into the society. The church is to lead the society and set the pace for, for, for righteousness. If we are not doing that, then you and I, we have failed. You and I, we have failed. God holds my hand to subdue nation. Yes, we claim me. But are you fulfilling the plan of God? Are you fulfilling the purpose of God? I said here, yeah, lying, fornication, cheating in market. Cheating in market. There are many members of the church. They are ushers. They are choristers. A client cannot give you money. Go and buy materials. They will give you money to go and buy material. You will add to the cost of the material. You said you will only eat where you are working. Apart from your labor. The other thing you can say, I will sell the material. Tell the man you want to sell the material to him. Don't tell him you are going to buy material. They are too different. If you say, no, I will sell that material to you, that client will not decide. Do I want to buy material from you? If you say, no problem, sell it at your price. Okay, okay. Or if you go and buy it, and you now say, I bought this also at man, but I added this for my effort, for my deed, and then, in fact, they gave me low price because of me. Tell it, tell that client. But when you lie about the cost of things, and you see, charge your labor, all this should stop. It is unrighteousness. It is dishonest. And no nation can grow and remain grown with dishonesty. You must decide to change. I said unforgiveness, pride, backbiting, image damaging will not bring your own progress. Many people, they like they, they like to do all kinds of evil against their fellow man. They are damaging them. It's not right. Let us show love. Let us show.
show kindness. You call to show a little kindness. Show a little. We need to show kindness. Show love to people. Do not damage others. Lend helping hands to others. If I have a candle now, and all of you, and my own candle is light, is with light. And all of you, you have candle, but you don't have matches to light your own. Now, if I bring my own candle to each person, each person, and you begin to lighten your candle, lighten your candle, will it reduce my own light? It will not reduce my light. So everybody, render assistance to somebody around you. If I light your candle, I light her candle, she to begin to light the others. He lights the other. Before you know it, the candles of everybody is on fire, is well lit. And we see better. That is how what it means to help one another. Let us help one another. Let us render assistance. When you are just right inside you, you just want somebody to suffer. You want that person to, 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 to fail. It doesn't mean that your own progress will be more. I've come to realize I don't know whether it's black or African problem or Nigerian problem. It's difficult for people to form partnership. In fact, if you come to me, you want to do a business and you say you want to form partnership with some of your friends. Personally, from what I've seen, I will warn you not to do it. Because so many friends, many brothers, same father, same mother, or many sisters, same father, same mother, they betrayed one another when money is mentioned. When money matter comes, they betrayed one another so much. I've heard so many stories. And when the person who has been betrayed, who put all our resources into it, and they look at what this person did, sometimes when they come, I won't know what to tell them. So I just concluded in this part of the world, be careful of partnership so that they don't ruin you, so that they don't ruin all you have labored for. Some of these partners, they tell you they, they have technical knowledge, technical knowledge. And when you bring money, it is not the, their money, it's your money. So if the business fails, they will just carry their technical certificates. They fly to another another place. But your money may have gone. Why? Conspiracy, betrayal is so much. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Embezzlement in government, in business, even in church. Mm. Let us ensure that we are not caught in this evil. We are not caught in this evil. And that's what that scripture is saying. That's I, Jeremiah chapter 1. He said, you must speak against the evil in the land. Mm. Speak for God is with thee. As a child of God, you don't need to be a pastor. Speak against the evil. Correct the people around you. The people that you interact with. Correct them. Let them know what life in Christ is. Living, living uprightly. Being just. Being fair. Let us. You will say, no, those are those days. Tell them it's not those days. It's still this generation. We learned about Noah that was just in his generation. And he found favor with God. He stood. Let us also make a mark in our generation by our righteousness. Let us see rebuking evil and telling people about the love of Christ and correcting people, setting pace of righteousness for people. Let us see as our divine assignment because it's the call that the Lord gave to us. In that Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse
soap that when you bathe, you look fresh throughout the day, you are happy. You buy another one that looks like the original. You bathe one or two hours, you are feeling very uncomfortable. Why? You bought the, the fake one. Some people, their business is to fake product. I cannot take go to Abba because it's not only in Abba, it's in Port Harcourt, it's in Ibadan, it's in uh, Oshogo, it's in Lagos, that they are faking product. Nigeria, wake up! If you know how to make soap, why not do something that is original? Why do you want to destroy another person's business by faking their product? They spend money to produce that product, to make research, to design it, to pay staff, and they want to sell if you want to make your own soap, call it your own name. Sam Sudin Super Soap. And people will know that they will buy what? Sam Sudin Super Soap. Why should you put on it? You say this is the, the, the refined, what is the name of the soap now? Is it Crusader? Eh? Crusader. Tura. Why do you want to put the name of another company? All these things, let us choose opportunity to correct it in our land. Somebody say, am I in the government? 